فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى today we're going to extract benefit from the uh, surah al-Isra ayah 59 but we will read the ayah before it and the ayah after it inshallah ta'ala to understand the context correctly bi idnillah al-kareem a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim wa in min qaryatin illa nahnu muhlikuha qabla yawm al-qiyamati aw mu'adhibuha 'adhaban shadida kana dhalika fi al-kitab mastura وما منعنا أن نرسل بالآيات إلا أن كذب بها الأولون وآتينا ثمود الناقة مبصرة فظلموا بها وآتينا ثمود الناقة مبصرة فظلموا بها وما نرسل بالآيات إلا تخويفا وَإِذْ قُلْنَا لَكَ إِنَّ رَبَّكَ أَحَاطَ بِالنَّاسِ وَمَا جَعَلْنَا الرُّؤِيَ الَّتِي أَرَيْنَاكَ إِلَّا فِتْنَةً لِلنَّاسِ وَمَا جَعَلْنَا الرُّؤِيَ الَّتِي أَرَيْنَاكَ إِلَّا فِتْنَةً لِلنَّاسِ وَالشَّجَرَةَ الْمَلْعُونَةَ فِي الْقُرْآنِ وَمَا جَعَلْنَا الرُّؤْيَا الَّتِي أَرَيْنَاكَ إِلَّا فِتْنَةً لِلنَّاسِ وَالشَّجَرَةَ الْمَلْعُونَةَ فِي الْقُرْآنِ وَنُخَوِّفُهُمْ فَمَا يَزِيدُهُمْ إِلَّا طُغْيَانًا كَبِيرًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said, and the fa'idah that we want from this, inshallah ta'ala, is where Allah says, وَمَا نُرْسِلُ وَمَا نُرْسِلُ بِالْآيَاتِ إِلَّا تَخْوِفًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, وَمَا نُرْسِلُ We do not send down بِالْآيَاتِ We do not send down with the verses or we don't send it down إِلَّا تَخْوِيفًا Except to place fear in the heart of the creation. If we ponder on the uslub, the manner in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used this verse, we will find, if we analyze it from the angle of eloquency and ilmul balagha, we will realize that this verse, the uslub and the manner which Allah has used is known as al-hasr. It is known as al-hasr. Al-hasr means ithbatu lil madhkur wa nafyu amma adah. It is to affirm for the thing that you're speaking about and it's to negate it from anything other than it. In other words, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here is saying, I do not send down the signs which I send down except to place fear in the creation. That's the only reason why I send these verses down. So the fear here is only affirmed for the ayat. Anything other than that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not affirmed it for it. And this hasr, this quwwatul hasr, this powerful hasr, this exclusivity that is being used in this verse is found in many places in the Quran. It is like how Allah says, وَمَا مِنْ إِلَٰهٍ إِلَّا اللَّهِ That there is no creator, there is no one that deserves to be worshipped alone except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Which is in Surah Al Imran, Ayah 62. You find in Surah Al Hud, Ayah 60, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, وَمَا مِن دَابَّةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا عَلَى اللَّهِ رِزْقُهَا وَيَعْلَمُ مُسْتَقَرَّهَا وَمُسْتَوْدَعَهَا 
kullun fi kitabin mubin. That there is no right, there is no beast that is walks on the face of this earth, except its provision is on Allah subhanahu wa taala. So the beginning of the verse it mentions wa ma min dabba, and then after that it says illa abiz istitna, and it's the same that's being used in the verse that we're in right now, which is wa ma nursilu bil ayati illa taqwifa. So there is ex- exclusivity in this verse. The fa'idah that we want from this, my brothers, is, and the benefit that we take from this is, al-fiqhu bi-sunani al-ilahiyah. It is to have understanding and comprehension of the ways Allah subhanahu wa taala does things and He manages things fil umam wal mujtamaat in societies and communities. How does Allah subhanahu wa taala? How does He do things? How does He run things, subhanahu wa taala? When these signs, we see them, what are they meant to be? What are they for? What is Allah trying to tell us, subhanahu wa ta'ala? وَلِذَلِكَ The ibarat and the words that were used by the Mufassirin in explaining the murad of this ayah, the intent behind this verse, إِخْوَانِ تَلَوَّعَتْ is different in wordings. They all use different wordings. And those who have studied usul al-fiqh, more like usul al-tafsir, those who've studied Usul al-Tafsir will know that the ikhtilafat, the differences that occur from the Mufassirin are categorized into two. Ikhtilaf which is known as Ikhtilaf al and Ikhtilaf which is known as Ikhtilaf al tadad Ikhtilaf al means differencing of wordings, but you can reconcile between the two or the three or the four views that are out there. It is something that can be reconciled and it can be brought together. That is known as Ikhtilaf al Ikhtilaf al-Tabad is the ikhtilaf, the differences which you cannot bring between the different the parties that are differing. Each individual is directing at a different approach, is taking a different approach. The differences that have occurred from the Mufassirin regarding the part of the verse, وَمَا نُرْسِلُ بِالْآيَاتِ إِلَّا تَخْوِيفًا Their tanawur and their ikhtilaf is ikhtilafu, ikhtilafu tanawur. It is ikhtilafu tanawur, meaning we can reconcile between their speeches. Some of them they said that the ayah that is being used here, that Allah is saying that I do not send down signs. Some of them they said the sign is meant by al al Mufashi. It is the, the, the death that spreads excessively. By what? Bisababi wabain o marad. Like a contagious illness spreads in a land and it spreads up on everybody, like Ebola. This crisis hits, uh, or a plague happens in a land, and the people are dying from it. They said that the ayat that is referred to here right now, وَمَا نُرْسِلُ بِالْآيَاتِ They said this is what's meant by the ayat. Some said the ayat here is meant by مُعْجِزَاتِ rusul, The uh, miracles that the prophets come with هي معجزات الرسل جعلها الله تعالى تخويفا للمكذبين. They said it is the uh, the miracles that the messengers come with to place fear in those who disbelieve in them. And others have said that it's meant by ayat al-intiqam that this ayah is ta- is taking revenge from the people who have who have come with sins. Is to place fear in their hearts by telling them that Allah is going to take revenge from them in the crimes that they have committed. So that is what well, that's what's meant by the ayat here. They said, but as I said to you all, the ikhtilaf here is ikhtilafu at-tanawur. It's ikhtilaf in only wordings because every individual, every group is ta'rifu shay'i bi ba'd ajzaihi or at-tamthil. Ibn Khuzaymah rahimahullah in his Sahih. Ibn Khuzaymah. Imam al aimma they call him, and he's the Sheikh of Ibn Hibban, Rahimahullah. Imam Ibn al Khuzayma, Rahimahullah, Ibn Khuzayma, Bawwaba Baban fi Kitabihi, he chaptered a chapter in his Kitab, Sahih Ibn Khuzayma, in his Kitab. And he chaptered in that book of his, he says, the chapter of mentioning the signs that indicate the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to his creation. 
that Kusuf is from them. Kusuf, the ekl uh, eclipse. So the eclipse that takes place, the solar eclipse, or whether it's the moon eclipse, it doesn't matter. They are signs which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends down, or Allah does, to place fear in the people's hearts. And then straight after that, he brought the ayah, وَمَا نُرْسِلُ بِالْآيَاتِ إِلَّا تَخْوِيفًا in his chapter. In. So what does these ver this verse, brothers, benefit us? And what benefit can we extract from it? What we can extract from it is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to make us understand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is sending these verses or these signs for us to be scared and for us to stay away from sins. If you look at what Allah said in Surah Al-An'am, Ayah 42 to Ayah 44, Allah says, وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا إِلَىٰ أُمَمٍ مِّنْ قَبْلِكَ فَأَخَذْنَاهُمْ بِالْبَأْسَاءِ وَالضَّرَّاءِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَضَرَّعُونَ فَلَوْلَا إِذْ جَاءَهُمْ بَأْسُنَا تَضَرَّعُوا وَلَكِنْ قَسَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَزَيَّنَ لَهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ فَلَمَّا نَسُوا مَا ذُكِّرُوا بِي فَتَحْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ أَبْوَابَ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ حَتَّى إِذَا فَرِحُوا حَتَّى إِذَا فَرِحُوا بِمَا أُوتُوا أَخَذْنَاهُمْ بَغْتَةً أَخَذْنَاهُمْ بَغْتَةً فَإِذَا هُمْ مُبْلِسُونَ Allah says we have sent down وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا إِلَىٰ أُمَمٍ مِّنْ قَبْلِكَ we have sent down to nations that have come before you. We have held them to the times of what? We've held them the times of ease and the times of hardship. Why? So they can humble themselves. In. The reasons why Allah sends these verses down is to place fear in you so you can humiliate yourself and humble yourself to Allah. Because in Surah Al-Mu'minun, Ayah 76, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains it more. He says, وَلَقَدْ أَخَذْنَاهُمْ بِالْعَذَابِ فَمَسْتَكَانُوا لِرَبِّهِمْ وَمَا يَتَضَرَّعُونَ Allah says we have sent down to them punishments. But they didn't humiliate themselves. and They didn't belittle, them, belittle themselves to Allah wa ta'ala. Rather, they ran and resulted to things that are opposite from that which was needed from them. وَلِذَلِكَ إِبْنَ أَبِي شَيْبَ uh, إِبْنَ أَبِي شَيْبَ رَحِمَهُ الله, he mentions in his Musannaf, musan, in his Musannaf, he mentions in his Musannaf, Rahimahullah, Min Tariq Safiya binti Abi Ubaid, from the chain of, or through the narration of Safiya binti, binti Abi Ubaid, radiallahu ta'ala anha, qalat, she said, at the time of Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, an earthquake took place, and the pillars, they started to move, and when it happened, Umar radiallahu anhu, he stood and he made khutbah. He made a sermon, a reminder to the people. He stood up, he gathered the people and he gave them a sermon. Umar radiallahu anhu, he said, in adat, if this earthquake takes place again, and I am, I'm amongst you, then I'm going to leave. I'm going to walk away. If this happens again. Because, that, why? Because they understood that this is a sign, a punishment. وَلَقَدْ أَخَذْنَاهُمْ بِلَا عَذَابِ فَمَسْتَكَانُوا لِرَبِّهُ وَمَا يَتَضَرَّعُونَ the Sahaba, they took it onto themselves by thinking that this is something that they have to what? That they have to work on or they have to perfect themselves and rectify their situation. Our messenger is the same, alayhi salatu wasalam, and he's the best of examples. Imam al-Bukhari and Muslim, both of them narrated on the authority of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she said, that the Prophet if the wind was strong, there was a strong wind that came out. Qala, he used to say, Allah, ma inni as'aluka, oh Allah, I ask you the good of this wind. And the good that is in it, and the good that it was sent for. Wa'udhu bika min sharriha, and oh Allah, I seek refuge in you. From the evil that is in it, and the evil that which it was sent for. And if the sky, the, there was a cloud that came onto the sky, and there was lightning and thunder. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tagayyara lawnuhu, his facial color will change. His color, his facial color will change, alayhi salatu wa sallam. Wa kharaja wa dakhal, he would enter and he would come and he would leave, he would come. He would be somebody who's walking with frustration. 
sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And if, the, if a rain came down, sallallahu wa sallam alayhi, the people would tell from his face how he would become saddened alayhi salatu wa Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anhu, she said, فسألت, I asked him about this, why he would do all of this. فقال لها, he said to her, Ya Aisha, كما قال قوم عاد. Just like the people of Aad said, فلما رأوه عارضا مستقبل أوديتهم قالوا هذا عارض ممطرنا. That the people of Aad, when the cloud would come onto them, they would say, this is a, a cloud that's only bringing us rain. So the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam, because this cloud could possibly not be rain, he alayhi salatu wasalam, was scared and frustrated. But when rain came down, it would release, that frustration would slightly release from him, and he would be a bit glad, alayhi salatu wasalam. And why would the Prophet not be like that? When Allah says in Surah An-Nuh, Ayah 25, مِمَّا خَطِيئَاتِهِمْ أُغْرِقُوا Because of their sins, Allah says, we drown them. فَأُدْخِلُوا نَارًا And they were placed in the hellfire. فَلَمْ يَجِدُوا لَهُمْ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ أَنصَارًا And besides Allah, they did not find anyone to help them. Ibn Kathir says, مِمَّا خَطِيئَاتِهِمْ Because of their sins, Ibn Kathir A says, مِنْ كَثْرَةِ ذُنُوبِهِمْ وَعُتُوِّهِمْ وَإِسْرَارِهِمْ عَلَى كُفْرِهِمْ وَمُخَالَفَتِهِمْ Because of their excessive sins, and their hard-headedness and their persistent on, upon their disbelief and their opposition of their messenger, Ugriku, they were drowned. فَأُدْخِلُوا نَارًا And they entered the hellfire. So the drowning is, is a sign sent from Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And the reason why it's sent down is because وَمَا نُرُسِلُ بِالْآيَاتِ إِلَّا تَخْوِيفًا It was sent down to place fear and, uh, and, 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 and ter terrorize the hearts of the people. And the believer, my brothers, when these signs are around them, they take heed from it. These, these signs can come in different forms and shapes. It doesn't necessarily mean it has to be one sign that you recognize. So don't be one who looks at these signs that are being given to you. And don't be one who thinks that these signs are what? Are not being... He's not being addressed in it. From those signs, my brother, is when you're being blessed. And you know you've been, you've been committing crimes. When you've been committing crimes and you've been going against the commands of Allah and Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He is still blessing you, rather He's giving you a lot, you should be very scared. Because remember the ayah that we read before, Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, He says, فَلَمَّا نَسُوا مَا ذُكِّرُوا بِهِ فَتَحْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ أَبْوَابَ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He says, when they forgot مَا ذُكِّرُوا بِهِ that which they've been reminded of, فَتَحْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ أَبْوَابَ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ Allah says, we open the doors of everything for them. حَتَّى إِذَا فَرِحُوا Until they became happy with it. Allah then says, أَخَذْنَاهُمْ بَغْتَ We suddenly grab them. فَإِذَا هُمْ مُبْلِسُونَ And they became those who are confused. So when you see the doors of good just opening for you, it could be possible, it could possibly be a سَنَسْتَدْرِجُهُمْ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ وَأُمْلِي لَهُمْ إِنَّ كَيْدِي مَتِينَ That but the reality of behind it is that Allah wants to destroy you. So my brothers and sisters, the benefit that we can take from this ayah is that the, the things that Allah sends down, there are, there are signs for us that we take lessons from. I conclude there inshaAllah ta'ala. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh.